Tech Cam. The BSI is an official German agency. The direct translation would be the Federal Office for IT Security in Germany. The BSI is a bigger institution. We've had a lot of roles. They are clearly taking care about IT security around Germany. They are in doing cryptography, they're doing research, etc. etc. First one is the role as a certification body or certificate giving body for the so-called common criteria evaluations. So whenever you do a common criteria security evaluation for your IT product, you will get the certificate from the BSI on the end of the process. If you would do it somewhere else in the common criteria ecosphere, like in the UK, you will get your certificate on the end of the day from the CESG. The second role is, and this is where we are very close working with the BSI, is for approvals of IT security devices for classified data networks. So when, for example, a ministry needs to transport classified, official classified data from A to B, the BSI is in charge to tell the ministry what kind of devices are approved for the classified level, they want to transfer data. Once an agency of the German government needs to transfer data from A to B, and there's classified data in it, you might know that every country has a couple of different classified levels ranging usually from restricted, over confidential up to top secret. Then a gear equipment needs to be approved by the BSI according to German law for transporting that grade of classification. So what happens if there is no gear available? So the, the government agency, for example, the ministry goes to the BSI and asks what's there. And then they will either get an answer or there is nothing at all. And then they contact vendors like us in order to ask if we could think about approving our gear for, a, for official classified transport. So in that process, they, of course, looking at the equipment, but they also look at the company. They look in our, into our processes. They look into tooling for R&D. They look into how we deal with uh, people coming to our office, they do source code review. So they have a, I would say, a, a holistic approach in order to judge the security of the product in context of the company. And this is what you, on the end of the day, get as an approval for a certain classified level. And that will become part of the law how to handle classified data. In addition to that, since Germany is part of the NATO and part of the European Union, you will also get a clearance for NATO and for European Union at the same classified level your equipment was uh, evaluated for. Well, Basically, there is no BSI certification. That's a little bit of, a, I would say, misleading term. So there's two things, as I explained. There is a common criteria certification, which is done in Germany. Then you will get a certificate from the BSI as the certificate giving body in our country here. And there is approvals for classified levels. And that's basically it. If we would compare the different evaluation schemes, especially in that case, common criteria and national programs for classified, we need to look a little bit more into details. On the common criteria side, you have 
usually seven deaths of evaluation. The lower one, one and two, so it's called issue, uh, evaluation assurance level or EAL. EA one and two, they are more paperwork. The people are not really looking at the product. Three, four and up, it's getting more complex, more holistic. The evaluation guys, they also need to look at the company, about the processes, how do you ship things, how you change controllers, the product life cycle, et cetera, et cetera, plays a, plays a much more bigger role. On the classified programs, that's already part of it. So there's no way to get an approval if they do not inspect your source code, do not look at the life cycle, and so on. So if you would compare it on the end of the day, the national approval for classifieds at the very lowest level are in the vicinity, in my opinion, of EAL level four or even five. And of course, it just goes up. That's the starting point. Whereas if you do a common criteria on the lower level, that's good security, but it's not really deep inspection for that. So. And just to uh, say this again, ATVA is still the only WDM vendor have for uh, having a clearance for NATO networks, for European Union networks, and of course for German networks up to the classified level, confidential, or as we say, Verschlusssache vertraulich.